Hi folks, Lee here and welcome back to the channel for another rather windy plane spotting session as you can maybe see. Um, it was very windy today, there was 25 knot winds coming basically straight down runway 30 um, with gusts of up to 46 knots. So um, yeah, uh, everybody that was landing today was getting a really good headwind as you'll see later on in the video. Uh, I've got a bit more variety this time, we've got an Air France cargo, uh, we've got a couple of Ryanairs as always, we've got the Coast Guard helicopters and we even have a cargo lux at the end, so um, yeah, let's get on with the video. So first up we've got the Air France Cargo 777 coming in, uh, it's coming in on runway 30 as is everything today, um, taking advantage of that really good headwind and as you can see it's absolutely crawling towards the runway, um, so yeah that'd be pretty fascinating to, it's pretty fascinating to watch and I imagine it'd be even more fascinating to fly so um, yeah pretty cool and it's just going to touch down in a wee second and the runway must be wet as well of course so I uh, get quite a lot of uh, you can see the, the vapour coming off there so yeah it's pretty cool Then next up for a more common one, we've got a Ryanair 737 coming in from Alicante. So, um, don't know how I would feel being a passenger in this one because I imagine that the weather in Alicante is probably quite a bit better than the weather here just now. So, um, to be coming back from the better weather, I don't know if I'd be, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be too happy about that. Um, but it is um interesting to again see them come in in this really strong headwind. And then I managed to catch the two Coast Guard helicopters again. Um, they were getting mo moved around outside the hangar. Um, although one of them does come out permanently. Um, takes off later on as you'll see. Um, so yeah, I don't know where that would have been going. I don't know the registrations of either of them. Because um, I'm just using my phone to record. I couldn't like, zoom in or anything. Um, but yeah, so... Don't know where that would have been going, whether it was training or whether it was, you know, getting out in an exercise or whether it was a real life thing, so, yeah. Got a big BP truck out in the wild here, um, just crossing the runway casually, so, um, I don't know, I just thought that was pretty pretty funny <laughs> not something I've seen happen too often but um, again I've not been down here in a while so um, maybe it happens all the time and I just don't see it
Then, as mentioned before, we've got one of the Coast Guard helicopters taking off. Um, again, don't know where it's going. Flight training, exercise, real life emergency. Um, who knows? But it's always pretty cool to see. And uh, even though they're not obviously one of the big aircraft, um, they're obviously really cool in what they do. So, um, yeah, it's, nice. it's always nice to to see them when they're about. And then that's it away, um, along with the blood circulation in my fingers, because um, I'd been recording for a good five or six minutes with the wind chill. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and then we've got the same Ryanair that came in earlier on, um, going back out again to Malaga, so... Yeah, again, hopefully some happy passengers on board that, happy to get out of the terrible weather here and hopefully some better weather in Malaga, so yeah. <laughs> and then I was quite curious to see what the takeoff performance would be like and for this one at least I didn't notice much of a difference in the takeoff roll but once it actually gets off the ground you'll see it just you'll see the how how high it like how quickly it's climbing um the climb angle rather and um it's it's pretty amazing um obviously again it's just taking good advantage of that headwind so yeah it was pretty cool to see And then after that, to sort of make a day of repeats, uh, we had the same Air France Cargo 777 go out to Paris. Um, and for this one, you'll see the, the, the takeoff roll was almost nothing. Um, it uses very little runway, and it's really it was really cool to see. Um, so, yeah.
again, I sort of like unzoom the camera a little bit here just to kind of get an appreciation of like just how quickly this thing is climbing. Um, you'll see that in a second, but yeah, it was pretty cool to see. Um, I think this is actually the strongest headwind that I've been plane spotting in, so yeah, pretty cool. And then for our final movement of the day, we had a, the Cargo Lux Boeing 747 coming in, arriving from Houston. Um, and again, you know, you'll get to, you can see that it's just crawling towards the runway. Um, I keep I keep going on about this headwind, but it was probably the thing that made the day the most interesting. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's just so unique to, you know, see big heavy aircraft come in that slowly so um yeah it just fascinated me to be honest um so this was my last one um before i decided to call it a day and then of course five minutes after i left a canadian air force c-17 le uh, left and then a logan air twin otter left as well so um yeah just typical um it was kind of annoying to miss that i would have really liked to have seen those but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you liked it leave a like, if you hated it leave a dislike, leave your thoughts in the comments below and if you'd like to see more of this then please do subscribe. Bye folks!